No. Um, here I have some security pins, like spools and a barrel pin there, um, a few various types. And just to show you that I have more. Zoom in on that. See various types. Now, these spools are okay, good security pins, but the only problem is with these pins is they're not very deep. And I tend to find that when I'm picking a lock, if you get the pins, the so the spools deeper, you will improve the security. It's harder to pick, that's what I find anyway. So I'm just going to show you a couple of examples that I've done. On the right hand side you can see a, there's a standard security pin, it's a bit of an unusual one, a spool, um, half spool, and on the other side is one that I've been manipulating, been adjusting, and it's, it's thinner, narrow, this one's narrower, this one's got a, a groove in it to kind of make it half spool, half serrated. So, I'm just going to show you one more very quickly. Oops. Here's a couple more that I've been working on. Similar kind of pin, security pin here, spool, bit of a smaller part of the pin here. So I put a nice sharp groove here to make it into a, it's kind of a spool serrated and the same with this one. Okay, <clears throat> how did I do that? Well, I took these basic pins. This is a pinning kit that I did in one of my other videos. I'll, I'll stick a link at the end um, to this review so you get a good idea. And then we can focus. Got some standard pins. So you can actually take one of these standard pins and turn it into a security pin, actually doing it this way. Um, and Here's some, here's some security pins. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take uh, maybe one of these standard pins and I'm going to convert it into a kind of a, a serrated pin. I'll take, take these ones actually, a six millimeter. I'm going to stick it in the drill and I'm going to convert this pin, standard pin, into a security pin which we can also put in the lock. So this key pin, the spring goes th this side, at the top, and this flat edge at the bottom. We'll put the security serr serrations in here, or you know, we can take off the point. Um, but I'm just gonna stick it in the drill, and I'll pause the video, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, the camera may shake a little bit because it's fastened to the workbench, but I'm going to be using um, this small file and also a Junior Axar with a bit of a rusty blade um, just to put the grooves in this. So I'm just going to start with make some nice sharp serrated grooves in this and convert it into a security uh, serrated pin using this. So keep watching and we'll see how we go. I'll just turn this on. Go near the end. Not too much pressure. I'm trying to keep it nice and straight. Just keep stopping every few seconds just to check the depth of the taper. And then do another one. Like this. And we should get, we'll, we'll put a couple of serrates in here just as a quick demo, to give you an idea. Now, as I must say, I got this idea from Burst back actually, it was using rod rather than an already pre made pin. So thanks Burst back for this idea. Um, 
don't know if you can see this. I'm going to take this out of the vise. <clears throat> so what started out as a standard pin is now a security pin. Got some nice sharp serrations here, very small. Can you see that? Beautiful. I can either just leave this pointy bit on that normally would go down and the, you know the key brushes against it and put the spring this side out and that makes a nice security pin you can even actually keep it as a key pin and you know security key pin and do it that way put it in the lock this way so I just thought I'd just give you a little demo on how I um, have started to make security pins and I'm going to fit in them in all kinds of locks just to help you know, and up the security. And maybe I'll do a few videos with some of these pins in it just to, you know, we'll get an idea as to how well they work. So, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye now.